So, a couple things here. I'm actually outside because a good sear requires high heat, which means a lot of smoke and I don't want to set off my smoke alarm. Second, what I'm going for here is a pre-sear. I'm going to cook this big tomahawk sous vide. So in the water bath, but I always pre-sear any meat that I'm doing before it goes into the water bath. And let me tell you why. So water bath is essentially braising. Anytime you braise short rib or something like that, you'd always want to get a nice good sear because this caramelization is not going to be able to occur after that meat has been seared. Now I am going to sear this again after it comes out of the water bath to re-get a really nice crust on it before I carve it. But this first pre-sear to me is very important because all of those flavors, once cooked and sealed in the bath, you're never going to be able to achieve them again, even with that final sear. So always pre-sear whenever you're seeding. You want all of this caramelization, this Maillard reaction, to cook into the beef as it's in the water circulator bath under sous vide. If you wait to do this after and you just cook raw meat into a bag, you're losing out on all of this potential flavor being infused into your meat. So we got a real nice sear here. I'm just gonna let this chill before putting it into a bag. All right, so beef is bagged. Got some butter and aromatics in there. Chilled, water bath ready. And then go down into the water. And I'm just gonna use this to weigh that down, make sure it doesn't float up to the top. I'll see you later. Three hours later. All right, we're back. This has been going for a few hours. I'm gonna take it out of the water. Let this drain here. I'll let this drain on a resting rack. Then coming in here, making sure to pat this dry so he get one more good sear on here. So now our steak is dried off. We got our second sear happening right now. A little bit of butter, some aromatics. Now we're talking. 